and tired of doing what is right. When you're discouraged and you feel like giving up, hopefully somebody in here will come around you and say, don't give up. Don't get discouraged. One day, God, at the appropriate time, is going to pour out his blessings on you. Don't get discouraged. Do not give up. It's always too late to give up. Too early to give up. Take a look at this. How do we fight this weariness problem? We get to know God. We start to change what we're thinking about. When we're depressed, let's start thinking about the good and God that God gives us. Let's have some strong convictions about what we believe. Let's be different from the world around us. Let's learn from one another. Does that make sense, guys? Let me just encourage you by saying this. All eyes up here for just one second. If you don't get anything else today, I want you to get this. God is a good God, and he wants us to act like him towards one another, especially to those who belong to the family of faith. So I want to encourage you this week to be a blessing to somebody. Be a blessing to somebody. You know, write a, a letter. Make a call. On your way out the door, say thank you. Do something so that you will be an encouragement to those around you. Make sense, guys? Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, I just ask that you would be with us. And that you would just continue to work in our lives so that we can live the life you want us to live. A good life. Lord, if there's somebody here who's never given their life to you, I pray that they would do that today. If you've never given your life to Christ, you could say something like this. Dear Jesus, come into my life. Thank you that you love me. Thank you that you want a relationship with me. I want that too. Help me to get to know you. Help me to grow in my faith. Jesus, I want to go to heaven someday, and I want to get to know you first. I thank you for the cross, which you did there for me, so I can go to heaven. And I thank you that you rose from the dead, so I can be assured, assured that you are who you say you are, and that I can follow you. For the rest of you, I just encourage you to pray something like this. God, help me not to be discouraged. Lord, there's going to be times in my life when I feel discouraged and I want to give up. Help me to never give up. Jesus, bring some people in my life that will encourage me. Help me to be an encouragement to others today and tomorrow for the rest of my life. God, I thank you for everyone who's here. In Christ's name I pray. Do me a favor, let's pull out our communication card. If you made a commitment to follow Christ today, I want to encourage you to check that off. If you made a recommitment to your life today, let us know about it so we can know how to pray for you. If you did not read Galatians, look up here for a second. If you did not read Galatians or you only read part of it, you didn't read all of it, this week, I challenge you to read the rest. It's only six chapters, really easy. You're going to start serving in the ministry. You want to come to our newcomers class, which is going to be next Sunday. I want to encourage you to check that. Let us know how we can pray for you. If you have a prayer request, you can let us know. As the ushers come forward, we're going to have our offering this morning. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I pray that you would just help us to follow you. And Lord, we're not always good, but... I pray that you would help us to become better. God, again, as we give to you, I pray that you would honor that. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
favor, let's pull out our bulletin. We have some announcements. Next Sunday, we're going to only have one service. It's going to be at 10 o'clock in the morning. So if you know somebody who's not here, please let them know. If they show up at 11, they've missed the service, okay? Mm -hmm. 10 o'clock next Sunday, we're having a joint service with the Spanish church. Afterwards, we're gonna have a lot of food and, and things going on out here, jumpers for the kids, a lot of excitement going on. So I wanna encourage you to come. Now, this is not an outreach for us. Um, you come because you're a regular attender here, but I want to encourage you to invite someone that you might run into or know that speaks Spanish who might be interested in coming to be a part of the Spanish church. That is our goal is to help that church grow this next week. Um, we could use your help if you can uh, help us come out here next Sunday morning at 7 a.m. to set up. We could really use your help. Also, if you have a jump, uh, not a jumper, a canopy, a tent that we can borrow, we'd love for to use that. And if you can call me this week at the church, let me know that you'll be bringing yours. Uh, we'll need it either this week or early on, on Sunday morning next week. Um, we have a uh, family in our church that's in need of some help to help send uh, their kids to to camp this year they came to me this this last week and said hey pastor is there any way that the church can help me out with that so i want to put it to you if you can help out with sponsoring a kid to go to camp it's 285 dollars each kid uh, let me know after church hand me a check or whatever you want to do towards that uh, put camp on that so we know where it's going to go um let's see uh, we're looking for people to help with the audio visual, with the soundboard and the PowerPoint. Also, we're looking for people who can sing or play a musical instrument to help out our worship team uh, make it stronger in the months to come. Okay, so if you can do any of that, I want to encourage you to get involved. Okay, you guys glad you came today? Amen. Good. Let's stand up as we close our service. If you imagine you know, that last announcement, if you feel God leading you in any way to be a part, please come and talk to me. Don't worry about what level you think you're at. We will find a place for you no matter what. And just uh, before we go, I just want to tell these guys that are up here, thank you for the job that they do. They, they follow me uh, when I play the wrong key and put the cable in the wrong place without telling them. And, and just play. They do a wonderful job. So be sure to tell them thank you for the job that they do. We're going to finish uh, this morning with the chorus of Let God Arise, the one that we started with this morning. It's a new one.